You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back and thank you for clicking on today's video I promise you guys today's video is the best <laughs> so you guys really love my makeover videos or my transformation videos and today i have an extreme 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 transformation for you guys this has taken a whole year to get here like a whole year you guys oh yeah it has been a process but it has been definitely worth it i just felt like this was the one place i could just explore and just let all my ideas out and just be free and not hold back because you know if it comes down to it if i mess it up it's my bedroom no one's going to see it but me so who cares well guys in advance this video is going to be super long and that's because i have so much content for you guys so much content i know it's a long video but trust me you want to watch till the end because it is going to be worth it okay i promise you it is going to be worth it so make sure you watch till the end to see my bedroom transformation okay, let's get into it let's get into this video i am just ready to start showing you guys what this looks like so So this was what I started with. It was okay, but it just wasn't where I wanted it to be. I think it was a combination of the color and the pictures on the wall. It was just giving me hotel vibes and just, yeah, just not what I wanted. So um, I had just moved in at this time and I had so much to do with the house, the rest of the house. So I just wanted a place to stay or a bed to lay my head. So yeah, I just want to show you guys what my initial design was and how this has transformed so much um if you guys have been following me you realize that this paint color is the same that i used downstairs in my living room for my accent wall um but i really really liked it downstairs but not here in my bedroom for some reason When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are To 
cup after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life Real life Yeah, we're loving the way they Quick update We have the TV mounted We finally got the TV mounted But, um So what happened was, uh I was, the plan was to have um, one opening there to hide the wires and have the wires run from behind the TV and then come out here but then we ran into a stud there's a stud running here running this way um, horizontally uh, I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm trying to see if I can get the yeah so the stud is right there hear that sound that's me hitting the stud yeah so the stud is right there or the wood so i couldn't um have the wires run and come out this way so we had to create a new one on this above the stud stud is right here yeah we had to open a new hole above the stud so right now i have this um yeah i have this this hole just sitting here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get one of those um cover thingies outlet cover or something just something like this but without um something like this but without the hole and then just use that to cover this hole and then that should be good but yeah this is what it's looking like the tv is mounted it's looking good ish <laughs> and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to prime all of those corners and then the wall or first of all take down the curtain i also i'm trying to customize this I'll paint this a different color so i might do this today or tomorrow but we'll see how much i can get done today but i'm just so excited the tv is up on the wall and it's looking good <laughs> So this is day two of the bedroom makeover and show you guys what the, the wall is looking like so I've primed all the corners of the wall including the ceiling so yeah so I did that because um, I think I tried to paint I did a portion somewhere here I tried to paint um, on top of the green but it was giving me this really it was changing the color that I wanted to paint um, let me show you guys here so so here's a color that I wanted to paint on the wall and because the wall was green it was making this a little lighter so this is what I want the wall to look like I did like a small test on this wall here um, so yeah so because it was it was changing the color I had to put a primer before I actually paint it so it can actually give me this color but yeah so this is the color I'm going to paint on the wall and hopefully it looks like this we'll see but yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick update so right now I'm going to start painting and then I'm also going to paint this dresser I'm going to take out the knobs um, paint them gold I'm, I'm thinking of doing either like a black on the top and the side and then painting this or staining this a wood stain or either doing everything a wood stain or doing a different color maybe like the color I use on the wall do this on the top and the sides and then stain this side I don't know I'm still thinking haven't decided yet but definitely taking out the handles or knobs and staining those or painting those gold because um, I like gold and yeah we'll go from there so the plan is to do a feature wall running from the bottom 
all the way to this top and then it's go um, to the tray ceiling and then to the ceiling so I'm going to go sandpaper and um, stain the wood I'm going to use I'm going to do all of that before I start cutting and um, yeah putting the, the wood on the wall but as you guys can see I have a lot a lot a lot of work to do so I'll see you guys in a bit So what I'm doing here now is just sanding the wood so it's semi smooth before um, I apply the stain. I really didn't have to do much because the wood pieces I picked were actually in pretty good shape so it just didn't require too much. exactly like the picture we see. So for this dresser I decided to do a black on the top and then use the same wood stain for the accent wall here in the front of the dresser and for the black I did start with using a wood stain but it wasn't covering up really well so I had to go back and use like an actual black paint but then the front came out really well with the wood stain it did bring out the wood color of the dresser which I really really liked and you guys will see why I did this because this actually would match the accent wall on the opposite end of the room 
so yeah super excited with how this came out and the white dresser was nice but again it just wasn't my style and wasn't for me So I got this um, IKEA lamps and I really really liked the style of it but the, I didn't find the gold color so I decided to stain or I keep saying stain um, to paint it gold um, to match the accent in the room and I really really liked how this came out it just was so stunning and I'm so glad it just gave it this antique look I wanted and yeah, this is one of the best decisions I made for this um, for this lamps. completely lose this nail gun i was thinking it was broken i went to return it and i was the only one they had at that particular store so i had to drive an extra 16 minutes to another store to pick up another one only to realize that the issue was that i had the wrong kind of nails who we'll walk there they don't tell you they don't tell you they just expect you to know i'm just so pissed you know i'm just so so pissed um so I got I got the right size of nails and then or nail I got the right size of the nail and then um, everything for the 16 gauge um but it was straight 
and I was supposed to get the angled one because this nail gun is is it uses the angled nail so I got the straight one not knowing it was supposed to be angled but when I came to this one so I'm still at Home Depot you guys look at that that's the sign still there um so when I came to this one I actually took my time to read um, to look at the nail gun and that's when I saw that it has to be an angled nail and I asked them and they're like yeah it has to be angled if you use a straight one then it wouldn't work why don't they tell you that let's hope and pray that this one works because if it doesn't work you guys I'm just going to return all of this and just stick to my hammer and nail method your girl is tired I'm tired and I've not even done anything today just driving to home depot and coming back and the frustration is what has gotten me tired so all right you guys let me start driving back home now it's going to be a long drive see you in a bit last night i felt the storm coming fast it broke the wall scattered glass across the floor i know this is the final there's no use trying to pretend There's no way to comprehend No way back, no way to mend This means we have to end Take your brokenness and go You're not welcome anymore There's no forgiveness in these eyes Been down this road too many times Take your brokenness and go Baby, I can't fix that hole I'm done being the target so right now I'm just measuring my spacer width and this is what I'll use to make sure that the spacing between the wood is exactly the same and yeah so that's what that looks like so good look at that it is evenly spaced I made sure to take the measurements and everything so but it is looking so good you guys let me give you a side view I'm so excited ah oh, so like it took me about 30 minutes to do this but imagine the whole stress of going to get the nail gone and then Oh, by the way, yes, I'm doing this in my room and then I know I shouldn't have done this, but it was so hot outside and I didn't want to be going up and down the staircase, bringing wood pieces, cutting and coming. It would just be too much work for me. So I decided to just do everything inside here. I opened the windows though. That window is open, that one. So I placed this by the corner. So hopefully some of the dust can go out the window. Um, yeah that's what it's looking like it's so so nice i'm so excited so now i'm going to measure um the distance from the end of the wood there to the beginning of the uh, blue paint i think I, I think i have it written down somewhere um let me see okay yes yeah, so that should be about 20.75 i need to subtract the the thickness of that one but I'll just go ahead and measure it again and then this this piece is 13 inches and then I'm going to go all the way to the ceiling I have that measured already too so that's what it look like but yeah stage one done now we need to tackle the this part and then that part when I think about the way we used to be when I think about the things it took for me
make you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you Looking so good So I just moved the bed back and centered it so That's what she's looking like uh, I'm obsessed with this um, light But let me give you guys a quick view Oh, it looks so good. And look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, so I'm going to put some um, lights on the ceiling. I'll put one here. I got this... Um, oh, you know what? Let me just show you guys. Ignore the mess. Uh, okay. So I got this light. That I'm going to put up there um, and so this one's a battery operated um, just because I want to add more light in um, and then this comes with I think about seven let's see how many colors yeah so it comes with this many colors which would be so nice so I'm going to put one here and put another one there and I'll use oh, oh my god this mess yeah okay. so I'll be using this um two-sided tape glue to hold it in place but yeah you guys it's already looking so good I haven't even put my dresser yet and I'm still going to do some stuff here and put the bench here as well with the pictures so I'm going to do that right now with the picture light and my dresser is in she is looking good so but yeah let's go ahead and finish this up even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
Alright you guys, thank you for making it this far. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was worth it. I know it was super long, but like I said, I wanted to give you guys all the content. My room is such a vibe right now and you guys are going to be seeing more of this. this, this. Yeah, I hope you've learned one or two things from this video. Don't make the same mistakes that I made. And I hope this has given you some inspiration to go transform and decorate your space. Please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It does help my channel grow, helps me reach more people and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.